when my son was little, he used to come in and say, time to get up time, mum. And I used to say, oh, it's too early, which is just how I feel today. But we're up and at it. One thing about this time in the morning is there's very little traffic. This is the Payne A38 at Birkman Trent. So that's a good start anyway, eh? Well, that didn't last long. So for anybody that's not in the UK or Ireland, this is what we do. We do rain. But on the other hand, it is what um, makes uh, UK and Ireland very green. Um, I think it's stopped raining for ever. <laughs> it seems like it, this rain has just been everywhere. Farmers are definitely struggling. But, um, you know, I think, what is it they say? 40 shades of green in Ireland? I think we're a close second. We must have 39 of them. So we're just heading down to Portsmouth. I just thought I'd show you Portsmouth Dock, as I've showed you Dover a couple of times, and the ferry movement. Um, I'm on the 8am ferry. There's, it's not as busy as Dover, but it's a longer crossing. Um, looks like it's going to be a bit rough today. Right? Now, if you're coming for the first time, it is all signposted above your head on a gantry. Um, M27, and then just keep left at the sign and follow it round. It's all signposted with your little ship. The two lanes go into three. If you keep it in the left hand lane of the three that then comes down to the roundabout it all signposted channel crossing now this bit of road gets really really busy in the morning so if you give yourself time to get down it okay it's very early at the moment but during the week this little roundabout and this bit of road is really busy you'll be queued back up onto the motorway there And again, it's all signposted. If you look on the floor, see, city straight on, and then it goes round to the ferry. So you go round to the ferry. If you're freight, you want to stay in the right lane. If you're going as a car or passenger, you go in the left lane. And it, it is all signposted. So just read the floor and read, then read the signpost there, look. Freight to the right. And then just follow it round. There is when it gets busy. The, um, there is queues all the way around here, so um, always give yourself time. This is the freight entrance only. Um, what does this flashing light say? Um, oh, it says, "Go the other way." Okay, okay. <laughs> Go the, use the other gate. Hold on, just a minute. Well, good. <laughs> good job it's not busy. And um, there's nothing behind me, so we'll just go backwards and try going the right way, shall we? It's a good job I'm only making a video to try and help people how to get into the port and then manage to get it wrong. Well done.
So I know there's hundreds of you that have been in, taken freight onto boats before, but those that haven't, you have to get onto the Weybridge there. And you can see the yellow lines, you have to be in between the yellow lines. I was so busy reading the sign, I didn't read the sign, if that makes sense. Oh, I've got this one now. Well, no, it's not newer, it's older, but trailer number. Now normally when it's busy, they'll tell you this um, on that board there'll be different the lines have got numbers on and they'll tell you which line to get into because some boats go to Khan, some boats go to Le Havre, some boats go to Santander or Bilbao. So they'll tell you which is the right line to be in. Now I have to clear customs. Um, I have to get a T1 which will enable me to transit through France. And then I'll clear customs in Iran, which is on the France-Spanish border. Or I'll go into the office there. So I'll bring you back in a little while. Well, Houston, we have a problem. Went into book on and Brittany Ferris says it's not cleared. Been into the customs office and they're saying it's not cleared. It's not gone through the system. They can see it on the screen but somebody hasn't entered the last bit properly. So after speaking to um, our transport manager, she's on the case, but unfortunately our agent doesn't come in till eight o'clock. So that means I'm gonna have to wait for them to come in to sort it out. Now this ferry goes eight o'clock, so I'm guessing then I'm not gonna make this one, I'll make the afternoon one. So, I'll bring you back when I know what ferry I'm going to get on. So, ferry stroke train movement. Okay, scroll down places, ferry train, okay. Then it goes, that means it's on ferry train mode. So now the rest time has stopped and I've got an hour to get on this boat and put it back on to brake. So what happened was, um, Laura got on the case and sorted it out, but they didn't sort it out till quarter past eight, which meant I'd missed that boat. So I'm cleared now, I went to bed for a little while, um, and I'll get on here. I'll have to do a ferry movement off as well, um, but I had a couple of hours sleep and now I'll get another sleep on here. It'll only be, it'll only be sort of um, half an hour or an hour, I should think, at the other end that I'll need to stop. It should be all right. So just like the Dover crossing, you need to get yourself straight and in between the tie down points on the floor there, that's where the chains go. And I would imagine the weather's been so rough that they'll use the uh, chains to chain it down. And it's quite a long crossing over to Carn. So um, they do usually at least put two on, but I would imagine they'll put four on this time. So same as the other one, make a note of way, which door you go up and then you'll know which way to come back down. I'm going to go and get some sweet and get some sleep. I'll catch up with you later. So I only used a minute look of time and then so I'm now I'm putting it back onto bed while I'm on the ferry. So that stops at 59 and then the countdown starts again for my break. I'm going to go and get something to eat and go back to bed. Um, this boat gets very busy. There is only three of them a day, morning, afternoon and evening. In the summer it's, it's jammed but as freight, on your ticket, you're not booking a cabin, you're booking a berth in a cabin, 
which means that when it is busy, you will have to share a cabin with up to three random drivers. Obviously, men share with men, women share with women. But it's not nice trying to get a shower when with three other people there. So I suggest getting a shower at the port to give yourself time. So I'll bring you back when it's time to get off. So we're back in, here we go again. Ferry movement places, ferry train, change. And then we can move. We only need an hour and 15 and that's our 11 hours plus a minute plus whatever I use now to um, to move to the um, parking area. So the ferry movement, what you have to do is Whatever time you use moving, you can, you're allowed to move twice, getting on and getting off. But that time is not to be more than one hour. So when you, when you use it getting on, your brake stops, you can use it. And then if you're using it when you get, and then it goes back onto brake. And then when you use it when you get off, you use it and then you put it back onto brake. But the whole time that those wheels are stopped has to be 11 hours. None of the movement counts as your brake. So the time that that vehicle wheels are stopped has to be 11 hours. So when you get off the bottom deck in Cannes, you're basically following this um, fence in round. You're going round the outside. Um, you have to go to passport control before you park up. Um, and they'll give you a little card. If you want to do a ferry movement and just stop in the port, you can. They'll give you a little card to get out. But it's a real pain. So to me, if you can do a ferry movement, to get as and long enough to get out of the port and park up in one of the laybys, which is what we'll do, it's much easier because the security won't let you out, they'll call the customs again and then it's a right performance. So I suggest what we do is go to the layby outside of the port. And there is a screen on board, exactly the same as the Dover crossing where your, your little registration number will come up with a green dot or an orange dot. And if you look on the floor, you can see um, orange arrows and green arrows. There you go. And if you've got to be checked, then you go to the orange side and then we go to the green side because we're clear. And that in front of me is Day Fellows, it's one of Mr. Fellows little boys. Um, he did wave to me. Um, there's another one of his on here as well, Kev. Kev's behind me. I didn't see them on the boat, um, but then I just had something to eat and went straight to bed, but I'm sure I'll catch up with them later. I would imagine that they're both on a ferry movement as well. So that's the um, freight passport control and what he does, he scans your passport in the machine and he puts it in your registration number and checks that it's cleared, um, so like a double check. Um, if you're not cleared, you go round to the left and park there and then you can sort it out afterwards. Um, if you are cleared, it will ask you if you want parking and give you a little card to get out later, but like I said, that's a real pain, so what we tend to do is just go out and do our ferry movement to the lay-by outside the port so that we're out, so we don't have to mess about again when we want to start. Because it might only be an hour, it might only be 10 minutes that you need, but it's a right performance nowadays. Just because the security are not um, part of customs, so they're then it's the right, in the middle of the night, trying to com them trying to talk to each other is a nuisance. So as you can see, you, there is only one lane out, not like at uh, Dover or Cali where there's hundreds of them, you just follow this one lane. Little lorry parked, painted on the floor, 
and you're following the perimeter fence out just follow it out um, the cars will be on your left they're all coned off um, and their passport control is further on so just follow this lane and watch the humps So you know, to the left here, this is the car, van, um, passenger um, passport control. This used to be the freight passport control, but for some reason they've put it down there. I think as well in the summer they open that to passengers as well. These gates are automatic, so just pull up to the white line and these will open, as it says. Pull up to the sign stop. There is another gate up here, look. Now, this is usually open when the boat has just come in, but if it's closed, so like if you're leaving, you're parking up and you're leaving the grey post on the right, there's a button. Just stop there and press the button and they'll open the gate to let you out. And then you just uh, follow your nose out of the port. Quite often you'll find that passengers will park on this bit of road. It's a blooming nuisance but they'll park on this road to wait for their mate or something. But there is parking around the corner. Um, but, you know, just, they may be the first time they've ever come out of cards. So just have a bit of patience with them and um, just let them go. And they've made it so that bit of exit is quite wide. But further on here, look, this goes narrow. You need to take up both lanes with an Arctic because otherwise they'll come up the outside of you and they just cut you off and it's a bit of a chicane and you just need to take up both lanes because otherwise the trailer will just end up running over the front of their bonnet. Do we know what this person's doing? Going very slow. Oh, break, break, break. Oh, he's going that way then. Okay. So, like I said, it goes here a little bit wider but again, there's another bit of a chicane that you've got to get round. If you don't take up the two lanes, you'll end up with one either side and you'll, none of you will go anywhere apart from into each other. Now generally, these traffic lights are flashing orange like this. Orange means proceed with caution. So you just it's, it's, use it like a crossroads, but just you haven't got to stop, you just keep going. Anybody that's seen my videos before knows that I've had a walk around um, Oysterham before. It's just a small town. It's okay on a nice summer day, but at whatever time o'clock it is here, it's about 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, yeah. It, um, and it, in the rain, it's not the most interesting place. So I'm going up to the lay-by and I will bring you back um, in the morning gonna have a chat with Dave and Kev uh, so I'll bring you back in the morning well I said it's the morning we only had to stop for an hour and 15 minutes we've done our ferry movement Kev and Dave have got something like five hours to make up so I left them they were um, we had a bit of a chat and they went to bed so um, I won't catch up with them because I shall run down through the night to try and get into the parking area and, um, and clear tomorrow then. So I've come around the Carn Ring Road, out of Oyster Room, around the Carn Ring Road, and after that, it goes into Toll Road. Um, so you come up to what they call in French, the Payage. So when you're coming up to these, what you want to look for overhead is the T, T 
teeth at all and um, go through that lane if you've got a box um, most vehicles have them you can pay cash at these places you can use your debit card but it obviously takes you longer most companies have a t some sort of toll box in them so if you go to the T go that way if you're paying cash or if you're paying on the card go to the green arrow What you will see in France and Spain are some of these um, 30k lanes. So if you've got a toll box, you can go into the 30k lines as long as there's no height limit or weight limit um, or any prohibition for freight. You can go through and it just means that the sensor is before the barrier rather than after it. So you can go through at 30k's, you can slow, I mean you slow down but you can go through at 30 k's and it's just a lot quicker, it keeps all the traffic moving. And that's me away. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this one. I have a new Facebook page, I'll put a link in the description. But if you just search on Facebook for Lorry Diaries and I'm on there and I'll put things on um, that I just I record far too much so I'll put stuff that I don't get on here and I'll catch up with you next time take care everybody